Hey dudes, it's me again. I have been getting questions about my base face as far as like uh, my foundation routine. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys my routine for my base face. We're not gonna do eyebrows, eyeshadow, anything like that. Um, just show you my foundation routine. As you can tell, I'm very pale and I have a lot of redness to cover up. So it's not rosacea. My face is just red. Uh, I have very oily skin. I have aging skin. I have kind of enlarged pores over here. Let me get super close and scare everybody. The cat wants in the window. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I do. So I've already washed and did everything to my face that needs to happen before makeup goes on it. I'm gonna do a whole skincare video later, not right now. Uh, the primer that I use is the Dermacol Satin Makeup Base. This is one of like three that I use. The other one has got sunscreen and stuff like that in it, but we use this today. It's already on. So, if you're familiar with my Instagram account, you know that I have to mix my foundation because my skin's a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Now, anytime Dermacol posts anything, I like to comment on it and show my support because I use it about every day. And this is the makeup cover-up. A little goes a long way. They're not playing when they say that. So, this is shade 208. It's the lightest shade. It's lighter than 207, which doesn't make any sense. But this has SPF in it, which is another added bonus. Extremely full coverage. So I'm going to show you how I mix it. I just squeeze a little bit. Maybe about half a pea size. That's it. So this is still too dark for me, which is why I mix it. And I mix it with... Hard Candy, Glamouflage, Jade Porcelain, which they discontinued, but it's still available on their discontinued tab through their site for like six bucks. So, for this much, I'll probably do one, two, three squirts of that. And then I mix it with a sponge. And I'm not Bob Ross, wish I were. And this stuff, so normally when I mix this much product, I just mix it together like that. This will last me maybe two days. This is like two days of foundation right here because the Dermacol is so thick. Now, this is how much I have on the sponge. This is just from mixing it. I didn't like go in and scoop or anything like that. And then I just kind of put dots all over my face. And that's actually probably too much, but we're gonna see how it goes. Now normally in the morning, I'm in a big, big hurry because, you know, got adult stuff to do. Everybody has adult stuff to do. Boring ass adult stuff. Super duper thick. And yeah, I do have too much. It's okay. So yeah, a little teeny tiny half a pea size of the Dermacol is really all I use to mix in with regular foundation. To in it increases the coverage and it gives me SPF because I actually get sunburnt driving in my car. Go around the piercings. Quit. Hey, you 
just keep bouncing it in, bouncing it in, bouncing it in. I do have, like I said, oily skin. I've always had oily skin. It used to be pretty combination until I got a really good skincare routine and then it just went back to how it always has been because I would be really confused about having oily skin throughout the day but then when I wash it my skin would be real tight and uncomfortable and itchy kind of irritating but everything's back to normal now and another kind of bastard thing about my skin is I have a lot of peach fuzz I mean a lot a lot a lot my uh, family is predominantly Romanian we're some hairy bitches Fran Drescher is one of ours I don't know if she's hairy though if I ever meet her I'll ask her and then probably get slapped in the face but that's all right cuz I'm a creep that's what I do okay so as you can see this stuff is really really ridiculously full coverage so when I use this I actually don't use concealer because I don't really need to that's just a whole a whole lot all right so one of the powders that I use to set everything because it is a little bit sticky is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I have tried to find, I just go in there, look, it's, it's almost, that's just a shame. So I've tried to find a more affordable option that gets the whole blurring effect down just as good as this stuff does and I have not been able to find it. I've used the the NYX HD stuff which is pretty good it's, you know for the price pretty good not anywhere near as blurring as this stuff though. If you use enough of it I just I feel like I get that doll like skin with no pores and I love it and this this is like $30 a pan and I want to say I go through more than one a month because I like to powder my face down so my whole thing with makeup is if I'm doing it in the morning and I have shit to do throughout the day like work run errands whatever I don't want to have to keep going back in blotting repowdering reapplying I want to do it once and that's fucking it so the less steps the better it is kind of a, a pain to have to mix your your foundations but like I said I mix it one day and that's at least that's probably two to three days worth of foundation in that pan so I guess that's the that's the cool part of it so as you can see looking pretty good pretty covered pretty primed poreless and every time I put this like I tag it on my Instagram my phone auto corrects it to she it auto corrects the poreless to lifeless because my phone is metal like that apparently and for people with piercings when I'm done with everything and spray and all that good stuff I just go in with a makeup wipe and hit my my piercings because it's kind of really annoying to have cakey piercings covered in makeup okay so my next step is blush and I have really gotten a big old boner for this stuff and this is Dermacol love Dermacol the uh, beauty powder pearls and this is 
shade illuminating. And I've never used stuff like this before because when you open it, it's those guys. And it comes with a little powder poof. So I like to go in and just... And what I like about this blush is it's a pretty color for one. And it kind of looks a little glowy. It's not like a highlighter or anything. But it, it gives me that alive, not dead, or playful dead. I like that. And then I just kind of buff it out. I'll turn the beauty lights down when I'm done so you guys can actually see. And then if I want an extra little pop, I go in with the Skin Frost. Jeffree Star, Regina George. I would show you this, but yeah, I was taking nail polish off my nails and I sat down my acetone soaked paper towel. Don't do that. So this is well used because I use it almost every day. I won't say every day. Um, I did used to use it every day. So I just go in with a big old kabuki brush and this is from e.l.f. I like to dig in it because you know, and then I just boop. Okay, there is that. And as far as like uh, setting mists, I go between this one, which is the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix, and the Ulta uh, setting spray with sunscreen in it. It's got like SPF 50. But that one kind of burns my eyes a little bit. I don't spray it in my eyes, but I'm very sensitive to SPF, so sometimes it burns my eyes. All right, so we just give this guy a spray. And there you have it. That's it. This is my base face. This is what I put on before anything else. Eyebrows, if I wear eyebrows that day. Eyeshadow, anything. So, that's it. Let me lower the lights to see if you guys can see the quality of the e blush. Let me just make that spray to dry so I don't look like a a universal monster but yeah you can see like all of my peach fuzzes which really make getting foundation a pain in the ass <sighs> on top of me being pale so there's a lot of drugstore brands that I can't use because too pale but this is my everyday thanks for stopping by guys have a fantastic day uh, like and subscribe. See you later.